Good day, good day, good day, good day. So today I'll be doing question number four of the men's uh, trial exam from Limpopo province, September 2023. So I'm going to start with question number four. So when normally when you get this question, first thing first, you must look at the given function. So based on that given function, you must know that format represent the, what we call the hyperbola. So that format represent the hyperbola. So we know with hyperbola, we get the asymptotes. Né? So on the graph, those lines which are dotted, we call them the asymptotes. So you can clearly see on the X line, we've got one, which is our asymptote. On the Y or the vertical asymptote, it's negative three. So you must always remember the horizontal or the X asymptote né? is P, represent the P fed. So in other words, P is equals to 1, because that's the X asymptote. Q is the Y asymptote. Né? So Q, there based on the graph, is negative 3. Né? So that will give you a lovely uh, 2 marks based on the graph. Né? Stop. Then we go to the second question. So always remember, whether it's a parabola, whether it's an exponential graph, whenever they're asking you to find the value of A, you must use another point in your graph which is not the asymptotes né? so remember you look at the graph here this is other point that we have here which is zero and negative five né? because this other point is also there but we don't know the coordinate of the x so we can't use it this one we know the coordinate of y which means this is our y intercept where the graph is cutting at y né? so meaning this coordinate will use it because it's not the asymptote so as long as the coordinate is not asymptote you can use it né? So this will be 0 and negative 5. Né? This will be 0 and negative 5, which we will use as our other point in the asymptote. Né? So now, first thing first, you go to the equation. Remember, fx, I will just use y, because it become much easier now to, instead of using fx, to use y. So I'm going to have uh, a, so I'm going to put my asymptote straight. Né? So remember, uh, p is 1. So for P to be 1, therefore here it will be minus 1. For us to get a P of 1, therefore here it will be minus 1. Because at the end of the day, X will be equals to, X minus 1 will give us uh, equals to 0. If we do to simplify X, X will become 1. So if it's P is positive, here you must put a negative after X. Né? If P is negative, we put a plus sign more fast. Né? So now, again, Q, Q comes back as it is. Q is negative 3. So it will come back as negative 3 now. So I've placed all my asymptotes as the first thing. Now I must use the coordinate, which is 0 and negative 5 now. So remember, the y value is negative 5. So wherever I see x and y, I'm going to put that coordinate now. So y is negative 5, and then I'm going to have x a, that is our a there, over x, remember it's 0 now. So it's going to be over 0 minus 1 now. And then minus 3 now. So now, second thing that you must see more, I'm going to have negative 5. And then the 3 will come the other side now. So negative 5, then the sign will change to positive now. So give me negative 5 plus 3. And then everything is equals to a over 0 minus 1 is negative, will give us negative 1 now. That will give us negative 1. So now, negative 5 plus 3, that will give us negative 2. Né? And then it's equals to, so I'll advise that you stick to cross multiplication. Because I know some of you will be like, no, a over 1 is uh, negative 1 or negative a, but it's always advisable because not every question will be a over 1. Sometimes it will be a over a bigger number. Né? So it's always advisable to use cross multiplication so with cross multiplication the denominator of this side will multiply the numerator né? and then the denominator of this side will multiply the other numerator so in other words it will be negative 1 times negative 2 né? which will give us 2 né? and then the other one will be 1 times a né? which will give us a that will be your uh, equation 
So that will be the value of A for 3 max. So now you've got 5 max based on the first two uh, calculations. Now. So now, therefore, we know instead of having A, you can have 2. Now. And the good thing that I love about maths, <laughs> look, in 4.1.3, they're telling you about if Fx is that, so in other words, they're telling you that A is 2. <laughs> so in other words, here in 4.1.2, we're actually proving 4.1.3 if it's correct. And now you see that it's correct. So you'll be happy in the example that you've got 5 marks already. Né? So you must always, the most questions like that, especially for paper 2, where they ask you to find something, then the next question, they give you the answer for the previous one, which is always good to boost your confidence in a way. So they're telling us that fx um, is 2 over x minus 1 minus 3. Now they are translating it to a point where now you get 2 over x minus 3 plus 3. First thing first, check the q value. Né? Before we're having negative 3, now we're having positive 3. So remember the q value is the y. So if it's the y, this means it will be up and down. Né? So if it's going to be y, that will be up and down. Q will go up and down. So if Q is going up and down, therefore, this uh, symbolizes that something was done to the graph. The graph was at negative 3. Now it's at positive 3. So remember, it's at negative 3. Now it's going to positive 3. So from negative 3 to 0, how many units are we going to move? We'll move 3 units up to go to 0. Né? From 0 to 3, that will be under 3 units. So overall, from negative 3 to positive 3, we're going to end up moving 6 units up. Né? So that will be 6 units up. So first thing first, we're going to do 6 units up. Né? That will be 6 units up. For us to go from negative 3 to positive 3, né? the first point that will give you a mark for that. So second point, you check your um, at the x level. Né? Before we are having x minus 1, now we are having x minus 3. So I always use the graph for this one. So remember, before we are at minus 1, that's where we are. Now we are at minus 3. So that should be the first thing in your mind. But remember, when we do x minus 1 is equal to 0, that gives us 1. So that will give us 1. If we do simplify that, it will give us 1. Again, if we do x minus 3, that will give us uh, 3. Né? So we've got these two points as our new coordinate. Before we're at 1, now we're going to 3. So this shows that we're going from this side to that side. So we're going to the right. Né? By how many units? 2 units. So therefore the other one will be 2 units to the right. Né? This will be the two translations that are clearly uh, visible. Either you go up or down. Or right or left né? so it'll be two units to the right two units to the right né? done so quickly let's do the last one 4.1.4 write down the equation of the horizontal asymptote of g né? remember g is the new graph that they have done a translation to so they want the horizontal asymptote remember horizontal asymptote is the x asymptote né? so you come and check it's x minus 3 here, the one the equation. So therefore, x will be equals to, remember, 3. Né? Or in other words, p will be equals to 3. Né? So it will be x minus 3 is equals to 0. So x will be equals to 3. That will be your horizontal asymptote. If they were asking about the vertical asymptote, y will be also be equals to 3. So it will be the same thing. So it's x is equals to 3 because, remember, here, if p is positive, we put a minus there after x now. so that will be the uh, question number 4.1 which i've just covered now so it was five max seven max eight max so remember so far we've done other questions now so always remember this type of questions you need to first identify what you're given if they want a you always choose another point in the graph to find a now. and then you can use the given asymptote and then they even tell you here that the other point is that but sometimes they don't tell you. So you must look at the graph and interpret the graph. Now. So yeah, thank you very much, guys.